Element Skateboards, this is a message uh, on their website, uh, elementbrand.com. This is now, I mean, this is the whole message, so. Uh, in 1992, the Element Seed was planted. Our goal was simple, to be the best. We could be in the most honest and ethical way possible. We join together to elevate what we all truly believe in. Today, we continue to create the art, direction, and message on the constant path to bring progress to skateboarding. We are more than a business. We are a family, all on the same journey for the growth within ourselves, Element, and all that surrounds us. Element for life. This is the uh, this is the world tour video, a video documentary of. Element Team Travels, Adventures in Skateboarding. We got uh, some dude, some dude, some dude, fucking some other dude, just a bunch of dudes, you know? As a kid, uh, you don't have much to do. You have school, you have chores, maybe you draw, but skateboarding always came first in my life. I left uh, basketball, soccer, baseball, and you know, any of those other things one might call sport or find appealing, but uh, to me, skateboarding became an obsession. I needed things like tech decks and uh, magazines and videos and everything that we needed was uh, was there for me in skateboarding. I just had it, you know. But as a, as an adolescent, you know, pre-ball dropping, ethnic throwing scumbag, I was only pleased if I had a scab or a new scar, or like a chip in my new ripstick. But you know, always keep your deck clean for the ladies. But uh, I had no money, you know, and when I did, it went to the ladies. Uh, more like decks and shoes, because you go through those fuckers a lot. Um, but after that came skate videos, and uh, when there was money after that, not sure where it all came from, but uh, it went to like, like fart bombs or high eight tapes and fucking candy and like Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's right, fucking Pokemon cards. Now, uh, this little motherfucker right here made me happy briefly when I was a kid. Uh, it's directed by Dan Wolf. I don't know what the point of having a director for a skate video is. Um, they're probably not there like telling people what tricks to do, but what stupid. Uh, the length is 32 minutes. Checked it. It's fine. Uh, when I picked it up in the shop for the first time, I hadn't seen very many like video covers that had all the skaters and then their names next to it. Uh, it's pretty. I liked that. It was. It was awesome. Um, this video came out two years after Third Eye View, another element video. Uh, I'll get to that another time. I had to laugh though when I opened it for the very first time. Why you ask? Well, look at how fucking big these reels are. It's ridiculous. But this shit, what is it? Why the fuck does it come with a book? I don't want to read. I barely want to watch this video. I mean, as skateboarders, we're considered uneducated and fucking like, just keep it to the street, bro. But this ain't street. <sighs> I'll tell you what it is, though. This. The shit says copyright 1999, but this fucker came out in 2000. That means there was a year of post-production. I fucking hope this video is worth it. I, we'll have to find out together. But I mean, judging by this cover, all these assholes, I don't get it. They look like they're imprisoned or they're, these are mug shots or something. They look like convicts. Fucking Bill Pepper's smoking here. And I, don't, I just don't get it. They're, they're supposed to be selling a positive image and I mean, their energy flows and you know, the elements, earth, wind, fire, uh, water, poop stains and uh, bloody tampons and shit. But you know, uh, they're all like imprisoned on here and uh, they just want to get out and rip and I will just have to see that, you know? I do, did notice something about this box. It says, Element for Life, fucking six times on this box right here. Um, there's one right here, another one right here, another one right here, another one right here, another one right there. Oh wait, motherfuckers. It says it seven times, it's on the top too. God, what are they really trying to get across here? Then the booklet, oh, pick this shit up. It's, it doesn't have the stamp in the corner here, like these do. I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. What kind of design is this? They had to stop on the case, but they couldn't get it onto the booklet? It's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. Element for life, huh? Well, it looks like we got some lifers here. But uh, this was in 2000. So let's, uh, let's see what they're doing now. You know, we got Jeremy Ray. Uh, does he ride for Element anymore? Nope. Uh, how about Donnie Barley? Uh, more like 
barely. No, I'm just kidding. He works for them. He probably, yeah, I think he does like uh, public relations or, or something. Uh, Mike Frazier, uh, nah, he writes for Santa Cruz. And Chris Markovich, nope, he writes for Blind. Nate Coppice, Coopis or Calpis, sorry, Calpis is probably right, but nope, he doesn't write for me anymore. But he does skateboard art. Tim O'Connor, uh, he is, he's on Habitat. Uh, Kenny Hughes, Kenny Hughes, Kenny Huge, who, who knows where this guy is. Uh, Reese Forbes, nope. Nike's keeping him alive. I like that though. Reese is a good guy, probably. I, I've never met him actually. And uh, what about uh, what about Bill Pepper? Uh, Billison Pepperson. Uh, I knew where he was from once, but where he is now, I have no idea. None of these guys. That's the thing. None of them ride for Element anymore. So I had nine dudes. Do they ride? They ride for Element for life? No. So if none of these guys ride for Element anymore, who does? And uh, I'm just. We don't even need them because we got uh, current pros Mark Appleyard, Nick Garcia, Nigel Houston, Evan Smith, Levi Brown, Julian Davidson, Grayson Fletcher, Tom Scher, Madaris Apps, Chad Musco, Johnny Schillerneth, he's the founder of Element by the way, BAM, no need for a last name, Brian Gaberman, Mike Kreshner, uh Ray Barbie, Trent McClog and Chad, Tim, 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 Tim. Why the fuck do I even bother? Uh, let's put this bloody tampon in and get it all started. The damn fucking background is so dimly lit I can barely see the intro. I guess Tim O'Connor has first part. I mean, if we want to call these parts, there's so fucking many things wrong with them. The short songs. So many fucking kickflips and variations of Vario heels. I didn't know you can go pro for being good at just two tricks. You know, that gives me an idea. It's never too late. Pepper, yeah? He rules. In the official Lord of the Rings uh, movie guide, it says Bill Pepper played uh, Frodo Bagginses. Nah, I'm just kidding, not really. But seriously, he's only like three foot one. I mean, how many people do you know that are that tall and aren't a, aren't a, uh, a fucking hobbit? Uh, how many frontside flips is he going to do? I mean, is he Reynolds' master and uh, Reynolds is the successor? I mean, the ollies, the frontside flips, there's so many of them for such a short part. Whatever. But with great tricks comes great responsibility. And Bill, you have the power. So why the fuck are you ending your part with such a simple maneuver? Like a fucking ollie. God. Stop it. So, like, after Bill and Tim's excellent adventure comes a little mixtape, yo. Basically, the funny edit can be wrapped and justified into this simple yapping dog. <laughs> Rob Pluhowski? More like, Rob Plu, how the fuck do I say your name? You're not on the cover. You don't belong here. Liar. Witch. Asshole. Mongo pusher. You shall not pass. Fireworks? I thought this video was about skateboarding. This whole fucking pointless, non-attentive, damn fucking minute wasted on fireworks and crap. What the fuck are these guys trying to prove? They're, that they're idiots? I mean, is this a prerequisite to jackass? But I can't give that, that these guys credit because the guys at jackass, at least they're kind of smart. You fucking shooting these at a gas station, you morons. Kenny Hughes, or Hughes. 
Not much about your part other than I got asked, where are the switch tricks? I don't see many of them um, or none at all. I do have to say that's a fucking sick ender. That's a good trick. Right there. That one. When I was younger, I always thought uh, Tim O'Connor was kind of a dick. <laughs> he uh, picked on people and he, he poked fun at them. <laughs> nice bike. But I'm beginning to understand now, you know? Who am I to hold him in judgment? Dick. What kind of image are these guys sending me? As far as I'm concerned, water, although an element, does fucking harsh damage to boards. I mean, permanently. Because all this stupid montage, some kid's probably out there, he's, he's like believing he can go skate in the rain without consequence. I don't think these guys know how much non-pro skaters pay for boards. They're fucking running through these boards like it ain't nada. I, I, I just wish I could skate in all weather. But I'm poor and not retarded. Natus, or Natus, uh, how fucking old are you? Did you find the fountain of youth on this tour? Well, obviously not. Your part was cut short with only seven fucking tricks. Did you need to be in bed by nine and like wake up at four like my grandpa? I mean, these short parts are fucking killing me and all you did was add to it. The songs don't even finish. Nice song, Reese. Actually, I really approve. Uh, you got a pretty solid part overall, but lots of fucking kickflips. 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 Lots of kickflips. Did you train Lee Romero on skating up things rather than down them? If so, props to you, yo. A kickflip twice? A double flip? But what do you do a double t flip twice for and then, was it twice as nice? Uh, and why in slow-mo is just a double flip? I mean, come on. Clipper, son! Big ass hubba. He's got 50-50. Tail slide. Lip slide. Those are all firsts. That's all, Reese. He rules. You rule, Reese's poofs. Garbage! Garbage! I don't need this in a skate video. Fucking morons. Garbage. I mean, it only makes sense that vert skating would follow such garbage. Um... Oh, the synchronicity. The editors are really doing a number on this video. I mean, Mike Frazier, you rip, but I'm not entertained. Vert has never been my mm, go-to. Uh, this part was a lost cause, and uh, you're the only skater in this whole video that seems to keep a shirt on. No, I don't like that. I want, I want some man meat. Motorhead! I like Motorhead, and this is Lemmy. He's singing. It's awesome. But the song came from somewhere else. I mean, other skaters recognize it. It's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Duh. Anyways, Chris, you're a thief. You didn't choose this song first. They did. Just kidding. You kind of look like Lemmy anyways. <laughs> so many fucking ollies. <laughs> Do something else. How did you go pro? Your clothing choices? I mean, you should have just been a model or something. Did you just jump an Acura? Oh, that's nothing. That is nothing. I bet you can't jump a vi- Oh. Uh, well, whose van is that? Stuntman Chris Markovich. Jumping cars and vans. It's funny that this fucking song makes it into the video. I, I feel like you actually couldn't have a video in the early 90s and mid 90s or late 90s and 2000s without this fucking song. It's called Bitter Sweet uh, Symphony This Vibe. Anyways, at some point you gotta have it in there. I've heard it a million times. It's still bittersweet though. Kenny, you fucked up. Go home. Jeremy Ray. Jeremy Ray. Uh, I really like the song choice. It's actually one of my favorite tracks recorded by the Zep. They're the greatest. Oh, Jeremy. You obviously have the best style on the team. And some of the best tricks, actually. Uh, I mean, your fucking frontside 360, down the 3, flat 3, flat 3. Very impressive, to say the least. Not even being sarcastic. That's fucking sick. What the fuck is this? This must be a scene for the ladies. I got it. Ooh. 
Donnie Barley, you fucking rip. Donnie Barley was on America? Fuck, what if he was still on today? That'd be. I don't know if that'd be sick or weird. Do you think he'd get along with Reynolds and shit? Who knows? Sick last trick, yo. The end? I don't fucking think so. If I remember, these credits go on for fucking ever. I mean, right after the end is displayed, uh, the film has a seizure and plays the best highlights of the whole video. It takes all the good ones out of the reel and puts them in in one minute. I mean, could have just sampled that at the end and we could call it good. What the fuck are you celebrating for? Stop! Stop partying! Kickflips and Ollie's deserves no party. Like I said, the credits go on and on. I mean, some random shit like this, and fucking this, and this, and that, and ew! Ugh! Stop! Overall, lots of kickflips, lots of fucking Ollie's, and a lot of nonsense. And I mean a lot of nonsense. It's gonna be my lover. You gotta get, get my friend. It's a tour video, and they were not even able to convey uh, or document their travels well at all. Australia, baby! Woo I never knew where they were. Uh, at some point, I knew they were in Sweden because the Swedish chick said Element Welcome to Sweden and then put her ass out the window. Uh, what the fuck? That's it. Consequently, after years and years of being tortured by this motherfucker, it's busted and it's malfunctioning. It nearly broke my dear VHS player. It's hard enough to come by a functioning one. But for this bastard to try and ruin mine with his big ass dinner plate reels? No. <laughs> Not in my house. Justice will be served. It's hammer time. Justice will be served.